Welcome to National Manufacturing Day 2022 and welcome to Airline Hydraulics. Come on in and let's take a look about how we do manufacturing. We do custom panels, more one-ofs, uh, all of our engineered solutions go into these relay logic, PLC logic. Uh, engineer gives us a schematic and a build package. We have to lay it out, machine it, wire it to the specifications, customer specs, put it in the box. Then things get programmed and tested based on whatever the application is. Uh, sometimes too, we'll have a full system here that gets integrated. Uh, hydraulic power unit, robotics, conveyor systems, that kind of thing. In this area, we do more of our mass production panels. Anything that's got a large quantity, we're able to set it up here, lay it out, and do things in a very efficient manner. Over here, we have our pneumatic uh, area. So we assemble all kinds of different pneumatic manifolds, filter regulator assemblies, uh, cylinder assemblies. We assemble uh, and then we end up testing on our test stand. Test stand, when we test these things, they're generally tested with just air. We manually force valves, but sometimes we will hook up electricity. Test the control function of it too, um, manually forcing with a switch and voltage. Airline has many assembly technicians who will take all the loose parts and assemble your structure together in a time-efficient manner. Like this is pretty impressive to me. It's huge. It's a lot of good stuff on our floor today. Uh, there's a lot of action happening here today. I hear machinery cutting aluminum, people blowing out struts. Airline has two cutting saws that cut within plus or minus 20 thousandths of an inch. One that services our value added type of work and the other saw system is focused on our 24 hour response to our customers. Airline's ergonomic tapping machine enables us to drill and tap holes efficiently, accurately, without any stress to our machine operators. We have customized solutions even when it comes to magnetic pull away panels. User-friendly guarding solutions enable operators to access their machinery safely and quickly. As you can see, Airline Hydraulics is very committed to having all the necessary hardware available for a quick delivery. So a lot of our units, we have to custom make tube lines. So after we determine the length of the tubing, we have a hydraulic bender where we're able to make anywhere from 10 degrees to 180 degree bend. After bending, we then flare the tubing to receive the 37 degree JIC. We install our nuts and sleeves, first deburring the inside with just a little bit of effort, we can pull the manual flaring tool together and pull out a 37 degree flare. 
which will fit right on to the fitting and make a seal. Many of our units require return tubes, so we have to thread them NPT. So we have an electric threader that we can get in and thread any size tubing. Once it comes to a certain point, we pull the threads off and we have a threaded piece. So units come in in raw form. We mount pump motor groups, we mount filters and ball valves, we weld in couplings. So a lot of hydraulic units run multiple pump motor groups in case one fails. They're able to shut one down and continue to use two and service the one that's bad. After painting, it'll go to the test stand and be tested where they go through rigorous test standards. Units are then drained and cleaned and tagged, ready for shipment. We also repair and service all of the units and all other units. Basically, if it has hydraulics, we'll work on it. In today's manufacturing environments, the use of robotics is a tried and trusted way of doing repetitive tasks like pick and place and machine tending. A more popular trend is using collaborative robots to do this, where the human and the robot have to work in a similar space. One of the reasons that this is so popular is that the robots have safety sensing built in so that if somebody comes along and gets in front of the robot and stops it, the robot won't continue to hurt it and the robot will stop in place.